What is going on guys, NJ205 Gundam here, and today, the Build Divers train has stopped at its next stop to reveal more kits for us. First of all, the most lackluster news, but big news anyways, is going to be the Wadden Pod. This is going to be a regular June release for 2,530 yen. It's cheaper than expected, but the Wadden Pod does look amazing looking. There is enough detail and it can transform into the flight mode, which simple transformation, nothing too special. I don't think you can plop the mobile dolmay in there because as you guys all know from my review, the mobile dolmay cannot curl up into a ball to be plopped in there. However, it is going to be a good addition to my collection just so I have the full build divers team. Next up, we will have an upgraded Valkalander called the EX Valkalander or the X Valkalander. This is going to be another June release for 1430 yen. So this is basically a new looking Valkalander with some updated aesthetics and stuff. And this time it will be colored based on the normal Astria instead of the Astria Type F. Which looks really really nice, looks chivalrous in my opinion, it looks more like a Dragonic, Dragonic Knight. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the EX Valkalander because I'm not really too big of a fan of the normal Valkalander's like Astra Type F aesthetic even though it may be like a realistic interpretation of the Astra Type F or some of you guys may say the Astra Type F2. It will still retain the dragon transforming mechanic I imagine but yeah, it's going to be using the SDBB Senshi frame so I'm not really looking forward to the issues that this thing has but as a standalone look this kit does look pretty good next up we will have another form of the enemy core gundam it is going to be just a weapon set for the eldora core gundam as i'm gonna calling it right now so this is basically a ripoff of the new gundam it is clearly a ripoff so you do have some fully folding fin funnels i do not know if the old new gundam does have full folding fin funnel so all six of them can fold i imagine this thing does have the fully folding what fin funnels and it does also have the leg extensions and also has the rifle extension to make it look like the new gundam's rifle and we do have a gundam-esque helmet with an asymmetrical v fin design full v fin design which kind of looks like the Astaroth Renascimento's design. Yes, it may not be a full rip of it, but the extended antenna on the on the right side of the helmet does look pretty much like the Astaroth Renascimento. And of course, it does have like a creepy walker mode, which actually allows you to store all the armor pieces on, including the helmet. It does have a full head, which is what creeps me out of this. But I am thinking that yeah this may be a good addition to my core gundam because if you guys want fin funnels for your core gundam definitely go ahead for this set most importantly this the armor and the weapons are going to be separate releases but they are going to be releasing in the same month so for the weapons i think yeah the weapon set which includes the fin funnels and the and the rifle that is going to be coming in june for 70 not 70 770 yen while the armor set comes in at 935 yen which is also june release thank god because you have to wait forever for the mercury armor to be released but you do not need to wait forever for the new form the yeah the new gundam form of the eldora core gundam next on the list we have the tri-age magnum it is going to be another june release for 2200 yen this is nothing special, it is basically just the Gundam H1 molded into kind of like the H2 Magnum aesthetic. I do not know if this actually signifies the champion's return to the series, but yeah, it looks like it. Like, I, I'm calling it, the champion is going to return with the Tri-H Magnum. I'm calling it here, but it's nice to see a new form for the H1. Not that we do not have enough forms already with Lost Warriors or something like that, but a new form, like a new modern day form of the Gundam Age 1 is definitely appreciated. Now when will the H3 and HFX turn up? Nobody knows, but it is cool to see a kinda modern design yet kind of a ripoff of the H1 mold. Now as I'm looking at here, we do have the H3 orbital side skirts, 
So yeah, maybe it will rip some parts of the H3 orbital, but I am not sure. The bulky armor does look like it does hinder the articulation a little bit. The arm guards do definitely look like the HF axis. So maybe hand-free beam sabers, who knows? But anyways, this, I'm not really as hyped about this kit as the other ones. However, this H1 is appreciated in my collection. Next up, we have the first new form first new form of the new core Gundam, it is going to be the Uravan Gundam. So it's basically the Uranus 7 Gundam. Not Uranus, don't go there please, it's the Uravan Gundam. It's going to be a May release for 1760 yen. I'm popping between Britain and America here. But anyways, the Ur Uravan Gundam does look pretty nice. I am absolutely a fan of the kibble behind. And it looks as if the new core Gundam does have like a gigantic shield that they can plop onto it. But I think that is a part of the Uranus armor. And I think from the looks of it, this kit could actually transform into core mode. So I'm interested to see how that looks. And it looks as if it uses round beams, judging from the beam saber. So hopefully that is the case because the original core Gundam here, it's supposed to use round beams. However, it's using flat beams. So... Hopefully the Eurofan Gundam and the new core Gundam actually does use round beams. But anyways, the Eurofan Gundam, uh, I'm not really too big of a fan of the shield at the back now that I think of it, but I'm like a really big fan of the spikes that are coming out from the back. And the new rifle, eh, it looks pretty okay. But this does actually have like a mudrock vibe to me. Although yeah, it may be navy blue, but not in a majority of a yellow. Because, of course, it is Uranus, it's supposed to be blue. But the legs do give me kind of like a mud rock vibe. And the shoulders over there, the buff shoulders. Um, I'm really not sure what that gives me, but it does look pretty good. I'm definitely looking forward to getting the Eurovan Gundam on in my collection. Just so I could test out the compatibility. Next up, we do have another like new planet system for the... New, new core Gundam or any core Gundam in general because it does share the same design aesthetics. Now, this I think is gonna be the Sat 6 Gundam. Not sure. It does have that orange vibe. It does have like kind of like a curious vibe, but it is orange. It's kind of like brownish orange. So it does remind me of Desert Combat. So hopefully, this I will actually call this thing here. This is gonna be the Sat 6 Gundam. I'm gonna call it right here. I really do like the drill, but I love the claw on the left arm. The armor itself, it looks pretty damn wacky, but it is, I, I don't, I do not think it actually shares the same actual armor, same actual armor frame that comes from the original core Gundam. So I think it's supposed to look wacky. It's kind of like the flattened Mac knife in the, tra in the transform state, but the Sat 6 Gundam or the Saturn armor does actually look pretty damn nice. Now, the common pieces over here did actually get a facelift. For example, the longer arm guards, the front skirts, the back skirts do have kind of like, what is it, the aerials vibe with the length of them. And of course, the chest pieces over there do have a little bit of a facelift and a little bit more of a deep cut to reveal all the clear pieces. The hand covers are the same. But I am definitely looking forward to getting all of these kits. Not necessarily the Wadden Pod, I am judging whether or not it is going to be in my collection because it, the size, man, the size, a bowl sized head for the dome. So here's my list. I'm going to be placing the Eurovan Gundam on top because I am definitely interested in the new core Gundam form. And then I'm going to be putting the Saturn armor right underneath it because yep definitely go for it i may be getting two euro gundams i'm not sure however yeah i really want both of the forms to just be displayed alongside each other so yep i am probably going to be getting two euro gundams just for the core gun gundam alone and then i'm going to be putting the eldora new armor right under it and then the triage then the then the Wadden Pod and then the Valkalander because uh, Valkalander, BB Sentry, hell no, please. But hopefully the issues are rectified, but I do not have high hopes for the ex-Valkalander. But it does look good, let me tell you that much. So that's it for this video of Gunpla News. What do you think? Which K 
kits are you most hyped up for in this collection right here in in the roster that i just announced more are soon to come but i'm not going to front load the channel with like updates and updates and updates just in case more forms of the core gun get released but yeah i'm going to be posting them on the community page so once they're out i'm going to be posting it there so that's it for me tell me in the comments below which one of these kits are you most excited for and yeah i'll see you guys later definitely look forward to the euro ring on them because no doubt i'm going to review that peace